Okay, if we can come back, everybody. We've got the um, the file up here that we need. Okay, so let's take a look at what run-on sentences are. As I said, it's um, two complete sentences or more that are run together with no proper punctuation. So let's take a look at an example. Okay, so let's take a look at an example. What we have here is we have um, example one. The academy, whoop, where are we? There's no punctuation. On, um, you know what, am I missing something? Oh yes, there it is. It took, it, sorry, it took out my formatting. So, okay, so I'm here right here. The Academy Entry Level Test is on Saturday. Everyone wants to do his best. Or it was raining hard, the air show was canceled. So what we have are two complete sentences that don't have any punctuation. You should have a period right here, right? We should have a period here. And then a capital E. So that's two sentences that are run together with no punctuation. You'll get one or two on the exam of this type. And I think it's pretty easy for most of you to catch because you're like, oh, those are two sentences and it doesn't have any punctuation. There should be a period here. Most people will get that. Same with this one. It was raining hard. The air show was canceled. We should have a period after it was raining hard. That's a complete sentence. And the air show was canceled. That's a complete sentence. So two complete sentences run together, no punctuation, run on run on bad everybody say that run on bad okay because when you go take your test you're going to say run on bad and um, those kinds of things as well so since we know that a run on is two complete sentences with no punctuation we know that that's wrong on the test the easy thing is is that when you have one thing that's wrong on the test grammatically when you recognize it you can go oh run on bad just circle the other answer the other answer has to be right. They can't give you two wrong answers. And both can't be right either. So when you see that something's wrong, your job is easy. Just circle the other answer. You don't have to figure out what's wrong with the other answer, do you? You don't even have to figure out why it's right because the other answer's wrong. Okay, so don't make this test too hard on yourself. So, um, so to fix it, all we have to do is put a period, right? And capitalize that one. So we're right here. Just put a period, then capitalize. Just put a period and capitalize. So that's how we fix it. There's another type of sentence that most people miss. Here's the problem. A lot of people don't do run-ons because they know generally where to put a period. However, what most people do do is that they will put a comma instead of a period and think that they're putting proper punctuation. Well, Post loves to put what we call a um, comma splice, meaning a comma is splicing, splitting the two sentences, but it can't legally do that. You can't use a comma by itself to separate two complete sentences. You can use a comma to separate an incomplete sentence from a complete sentence. You can put those two together with a comma, but you cannot put two complete sentences together with only a comma. You have to have other special words to join them together, okay? So a comma splice, two complete sentences joined together with a comma by itself. So let's look at a couple of examples right here. A car raced around the corner, comma. It almost hit some children on the sidewalk. Well, there's sentence number one, folks. A car raced around the corner. It has a subject and a verb and a complete thought. But here's another subject, verb, and complete thought. It almost hit some children on the sidewalk. That's sentence number two. So those are two complete sentences joined together by only a comma. There's our only lonely comma. Comma splice, bad. And they will be on the test, maybe about three of them. Okay. And there's another three points for you. So you know if it's what's wrong, you're just going to circle what's right. A comma splice is always wrong on the test. Always. So when you see one, yes, you can with confidence circle the other answer because a comma splice is always wrong. Okay, so let's take a look at this one. I had a map of the tungsten trail. That's a sentence because it has its own subject, its own verb, and its own complete thought. And here's another sentence. I still couldn't find my way to the campsite. That's sentence number two. 
there's a comma that's separating them. Okay, so therefore I have a fragment sentence. I, not a fragment, sorry. I have a comma splice and a comma splice is bad. So since comma splice bad, you're not going to answer that on the on the exam. So how do we fix a comma splice error? The same way you fix the error that's a run on. Just put a period and take away the comma. Right? You fix it just like the other ones. But there are three other methods that we could use to fix a run on or a comma splice. And here's the other methods that post may use. The other method is, and that's another page over. The next method, correction method number two, is a semicolon. So let's take a look at the sentence. Jeffrey finally decided to quit smoking cigarettes entirely. He was worried about getting lung cancer. Well, there's sentence number one. And sentence number two is he was worried about getting lung cancer. So what are we going to do? Well, we could put a period and capitalize. That's one way to fix it. Or a correction method number two is to put a semicolon. Now, POST likes their semicolons. And I will tell you, a semicolon is your friend. But I want you to be legal about this. I want you to know why a semicolon works. A semicolon legally can punctuate two complete sentences together. Because you can keep your comma, which is on the bottom, but you have to have that period to show that there's complete sentences on the left and complete sentences on the right. So don't be afraid of the semicolon on the post exam because it is going to be there. And what it's going to be there is the correct punctuation to separate two complete sentences. OK, so that's number two. Number three is if you want to keep your comma, you can do so, but you need to join have a joining word. A joining word is one of these. But or yet so for and nor one of those seven can pair or marry two sentences together with a comma. You can keep your comma as long as you have a joining word. Let's look at three bad sentences. Deputy Johnson was writing a citation to the driver of a red Mustang comma. He was verifying driver's license or dispatch at the same time. That's two sentences there, folks, and only a comma. That's bad. Jeremy was impressed when his older brother joined the army after high school. He decided to follow in his brother's footstep. You don't have anything there. That's a run on. Therefore, you need some kind of punctuation. Next, Julie remembered to get the hot dog buns for the big sorority party, comma. She forgot to get the hot dogs and mustard. Again, you have two complete sentences joined together by comma by itself, comma splice bad. So let's take these sentences and fix them with one of our boys fanfics here. But or yet so for and nor. So we can say Deputy Johnson blah blah and just as long as you have a comma and or down here with Jeremy comma so or down here with um, Julie and her party comma but. So you put the comma before the joining word and you're legal. The fourth way to fix a run on sentence. Number one is a period. Number two is a semicolon. Number three is the boys fan fix with one of the joining words. And number four is subordination. Well, subordination means that you're going to take one of the perfectly good sentences and put a subordinate word on it. Usually a subordinate word is a preposition or it's an adverb like up here. OK, these aren't all the words, but anything that you add to a sentence that makes it then dependent on the next sentence. You have a subordinating word because we had a complete sentence here without the as we had Deputy Johnson was writing a citation to the Red Mustang. That was a complete sentence on its own. But if I add a subordinating word like as, which is a preposition, by the way. Now, if I walked up to you and said, as Deputy Johnson was writing a citation to the Red Mustang, now I just made that sentence incomplete. Since I can join an incomplete sentence with a complete sentence with a comma, I've now made that legal. Remember, incomplete sentence. OK. Plus a complete sentence. Equals good. I will say yes, comma. OK, so we're going to say use the comma. 
right? So if this if we subordinate the first sentence and make it incomplete, then we just keep that comma. As long as a complete sentence follows, we can use that sent that system. Like in B, since Jeremy was impressed, see our full sentence was Jeremy was impressed when his older brother joined the army after high school. But now if we put since there, we've just made that sentence dependent. And I'm talking about this sentence. I'm not talking about the one that follows. I'm talking about the first sentence. Well, if the first sentence is now incomplete, and we did that by putting since there, and you add a complete sentence, which is this one, he decided to follow in his brother's footsteps, that's still complete. Then an IC, incomplete sentence, plus CS, complete sentence. Sorry, let me, incomplete sentence. Let me fix this. Oh, we'll just leave it that way. Incomplete and complete sentence. Then we can keep our comma. But notice down here, the and C. Julie remembered to get the hot dog buns before the uh, the big sorority party. She actually, that's a that's a complete sentence. We're subordinating the second sentence this time. See, we can subordinate the first, second, or the second sentence. It doesn't matter. But this time we're subordinating the second sentence. So just to let you know, if we subordinate the second sentence, then the complete sentence comes first, plus your incomplete sentence, although she forgot to get the hot dogs and mustard, that's an incomplete sentence. That's going to equal no comma. So what, what I'm trying to say here is if you subordinate the second sentence, no comma is necessary. Okay. In fact, you shouldn't have it. In fact, there should be no comma here. Okay. Subordinate the first one, add your comma. Subordinate your second one, no comma. Okay. So here's how this will appear on the test. What I want you to do, you're experts now in comma splice recognition and Run-on sentence uh, recognition, you know there's four ways to fix a run-on or a comma splice. You know you can either put a period in capital. You know you can put a semicolon. You can know you know you can put a comma plus a boys fan, but or yet, so for and nor. Or you can subordinate one of the sentences, either first or second, and keep your comma. Okay? Whew! So what I want you to do in the next 10 minutes, and, and fast as you can, because I want to try to get you out of here on time, <clears throat> And I put the four methods right here for you. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. There's two pages of here. There's, I think there's 12 sentences. So if you don't mind, do um, all 12. We'll come back in about eight minutes and see how you did. And maybe even six minutes. I, I'm going to push you hard a little bit here. I'm going to bring everybody back and uh, let's just see even if you're not done don't worry about it you can finish it later and since the, the answers are being recorded you can always check your answers to mine but one thing I like students to do is I like for them to put um, why why they got the right answer because that just reinforces to you what the technique is so for ex example and number one what did you guys put you should have put B, and what I want you to, to note is that B, because it's boys fan fix, it's a comma plus boys fan, right? So comma plus boys fan. Now, I'm not going to do this to all of these, comma plus boys fan, all right? So um, let's do number two here. And two says, right pencil is B. And what is the fix? The fix is a period. The fix is a period. And three, A or B. You've got subordination. Because I like to take a power nap in the afternoon, comma, so you have subordination plus comma, which is legal because you subordinated the first sentence, so you can have a comma after it. Okay? Whereas in B, it's a comma splice because you have two full sentences, right? I, I like to take a uh, power nap before I go to school in the afternoon, that should be a period. So if it's not a period, then that's a comma splice. So our correct answer is 3A here. And 4, 
is um, B, right? Because we have a boys fan fix, comma, but, whereas up here we have a comma splice because, or A is a comma splice because you have two complete sentences joined together by only a comma, which is bad, but it is good if you have a comma and a joining word. Remember, it's one of those seven words, but, or, yet, so, for, and, nor. So it legally can join them. And in number five, both are subordinated. So now, ha, what's going on? We have two sentences subordinated, so what must we have? If the first sentence is subordinate, what must we have? We must have a comma, right? We have to have a comma if we subordinate the first sentence. Correct answer B. Let's keep going. Okay, some insects in the rainforest. Let's take a look at that. And it looks like we have a run-on sentence because here's where we should have a period. And we don't. So that's a run on and run on bad. And so B is correct because we have a period where it's supposed to be. Okay. Seven, A or B. Well, semicolon my friend. Since the semicolon is your friend, we know that's the answer. However, let's prove it to ourselves. There's a sentence on the left side of the semicolon. The air was very cold in Alaska. We have a full sentence on the um, right side of the semicolon. I had to wear two jackets. Remember, a semicolon is a period plus comma, so we have a legal separation. 7a is wrong because we have two complete sentences joined by a comma, and that's a comma splice. Comma splice bad. 8. Uh, we have a comma plus boy's friend right there, so that's our correct answer. Let's see what's wrong with 8b. 8b says the injured hockey player wanted badly to cry, comma, he remained. We know that's a comma splice. Comma splice is bad, right? You have to have more than just a comma between two complete sentences. Okay, 9, A or B. The skier of the Aspen Slope impressed the crowd. They all cheered. Believe it or not, they all cheered is a full sentence. So there should be a period here, right? But there's not. So here we subordinated it. Because the skier of the Aspen Slope was impressed with the crowd below, or impressed the crowd below, comma, they all cheered. Remember, we can have a comma after a subordinate. That's fix number four. We have a subordinator plus comma. That's legal. So, and I should say a subordinator with plus the subordinating sentence, right? That's legal. So correct answer is B. And let's look at 10. The chemistry student always receives an A on his homework. He gets to use his calculator. I see a comma between two complete sentences. That can't be good. Let me look at 10b. The chemistry student always receives an A on his homework exams, comma, 4. 4 is one of those legal boys fan. So I can separate two complete sentences with a comma plus a joining word. That's legal. That's voice fan, number 3. Number 3 fix, okay? 11, A or B. Well, I see a semicolon there. I'm already encouraged by that. I see a comma here. Well, I know that a semicolon can join two complete sentences together. I know that a comma cannot. Okay. And then 12. My house was burglarized this morning. Mom left the door open again. I've got sentence one here. Sentence two, mom left the door unlocked again. Well, and then here you've got a comma separating two complete sentences. That's a comma splice. Comma splice bad. So what are we going to do? We are going to look at the next one. My house was burglarized this morning because mom left the door open again, unlocked again. Because as a subordinator, we're subordinating the second sentence now. Oops. We're subordinating the second sentence, which is legal. But if we subordinate the second sentence, we do not need a comma. No comma is necessary when we subordinate the second sentence. Okay, so our correct answer is B. Okay, how many did you guys miss on that? Was was that fairly easy for everybody now that you've seen it? Are we good? Anybody want to make a comment? No problem at all. Okay, let me take a look down here to questions. Because now I'd like to get into fragments and in, end with fragments. I'm trying to go as quickly as I can because I think this stops recording at two hours. Oh, 100%. Awesome. Thank you, Ashley. That's very nice. Miss one, one's not bad. 100% cold. Awesome. Fleet, good. Ricardo. <laughs> Daniel, no comment. <laughs> what do you mean, no comment, Daniel? <laughs> Did 
Does that mean that you didn't do so well? Okay, you probably did. No, you didn't miss any. Okay, good. Um, and missed one. Excellent, you guys. And let me tell you, what I just taught you, you're going to have a, like five of those questions on the exam. You're going to get 100% of those questions right. So you're good to go. And you shouldn't even miss it in your own writing now.